I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all, man. This is the type of stuff that bothers me about the 2K community. We don't cut nobody no slack. Listen, I know the young homie, he seems like he's automatically angry. Like he has Siri auto anger responses on his phone. What? But dude, he just lives different from us. And some of us, we just take that for granted. Most of us, we wake up, we go on about our day. For most of us, we wanna go to the corner stores, a hop, skip and jump away. But for dude, he gotta climb out his bed. Then he gotta climb down the stairs. Then he gotta climb out his doorway. Imagine having to Bro, climb up happened? every single curb you come across Bro, just to happened? get to the corner store. I can't front y'all. I'd be angry too. Cut Bro. the young. Bruh, what did Splash do to make All City so mad? All City seemed like a, a nice, calm fella. Like, damn. Like, where did he even get this picture? I don't know if they tall or Splash is short, but look, 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 look. Man, I feel bad for Splash, okay? If y'all don't know who Splash is, he is a two time. I think my team 250k winner i think twice and then they like banned repeated winners from playing so maybe he could have won more of them hoes so he's good at the game and he was in the 2k league okay so he's good at the game he knowledgeable about the game now i don't know what happened but we're gonna react to everything all city has a lot of claims he is claiming that the comp community has ruined all the past 2ks all these newer 2ks and I'm just going to disprove all that. He's saying that they had way more pool than they did. I'm going to break it down. Pastor Swan is coming in full effect. I am unlocking the 2K Bible. And I'm going to read directly from the scripture and break down every 2K. Okay. How it was made. Why it was made. Who it was catered to. So if people like All City or whoever else all the negative one percents on reddit whoever else if y'all want to keep just i don't know i don't i don't know if it's lying or you just don't know right but i'm gonna break it down irrefutable evidence okay and we gonna laugh at them going back and forth so i saw this this morning because splash quote tweeted this and i guess all city dropped a video yesterday and i'm like and he's like i will violate you make sure you at me next time and we gonna react to this hoe too, right? We gonna, we gonna see what's going on. Then we gonna break down his video and break it down. It's the ISO God Sensei. The greatest K in existence. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all new. Help me hit 281K.4. We're like 40 subscribers away. And make sure you hit that goddamn like button. Help Young Swan grow. Help me get 100 likes within the first hour so the vid could get pushed to the algorithm. Don't be a hater. And I feel like that's what a lot of players are failing to realize. 2K is no longer a lifestyle. And what? I believe that's a good thing. You hey, All City, come on, dog. I know you're a goddamn rec player, bro, but come on, bro. What you talking about? 2K is more of a lifestyle than ever. These newer 2Ks, why you think the badge system is the way it is? Why you think Hotspots is the way it is? They want us to keep getting on this hole so they can sell them numbers to them goddamn advertisers. Man, what you talking about? What you talking about? You, you see, look, 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 look. What, what, what's, 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 what's go, go going on, All City? You telling me a game with no goddamn skill gap is good for the betterment of mankind? It is not, my boy. People's favorite two Ks were them old two Ks, casuals and great people alike. When you have a game that is not a skill gap, it is chaos. No one enjoys chaos. They think they want chaos, but they truly don't. If you need more context on why you need a skill gap in this game or not in any game, just read this, okay? Yeah. Screenshot it, read it, not gonna go over it again, okay? Let's, let's see what else All City gotta say. You can now go and take a shower. Now more than ever, casual- Cap! Bro, people used to get on on the older 2Ks and have fun. There are ways that they created the game, the builder, the gameplay, the RNG, everything is created to try to make the user stay on more players. Back in the day, it was only comp players whose words were considered scripture by the YouTube. masses of the 2K community. But now- This is again Jutsu. Let's, let's body bag this real quick, okay? The negative win percents, envious old heads, have always had the power. They are the devs. They are Sim Nation. I think the guy who created Sim Nation is goddamn the Disizar, the horrible AI dev. Everything he's done at 2K is pointless. If that Disizar guy, you might not be right. Okay, you might you might not be telling enough truth. You feel me? I'm pretty sure Mike Wayne was goddamn Sim Nation. Pretty sure LD goddamn Sim Nation. Everyone that goes out there is always that style. 
they only bring up comp players up there so they can nerf them in the coming game. <laughs> They're not making the game to uh, please um, better players. They're bringing them up there. Oh, so you know how to do this and that? We're going to use you to figure out how to nerf you. Okay, I'm going to break it down. Okay. Now, 2K15 was when they started nerfing the game. Okay. Just listen. Just listen. Don't get offended. Just listen very closely, bro. I'm a walk with me, okay? 2K15 was the beginning of the nerfs. There was a different left right, okay? Y'all might not know about it. It was not a left right where you're speed boosting going one way, speed boost the other way. It wasn't that. You could literally just hold R2, move your left stick one way, move your left stick another way, real quick, right? But only the top players could do it good. It was majority negative win percents and all the sim nation casuals and all that right they were crying about the left right od we're not talking about speed boosting left right back in the golden era people wasn't doing that left right like that like they was really comboing at the top level right but now all, all you only see left right <laughs> now i'm gonna tell you why you only see that because the negative win percents ruined the game and i tried to warn everyone back then and I'm telling y'all why everything is the way it is now. They trialed and errored in 15, a few times, right? And when they made you go from, when, when you tried to just move <laughs> to from the left to the right, you would be in literal molasses. It messed up the dribbling. It delayed the dribbling. This is why I always say, bro, if you do anything with offensive movement, you're just gonna ruin the game. 2K is not capable of doing anything with offensive movement without ruining the game for top players and bottom tier players, right? Because they can't do their realistic moves that should work and you should be able to score off of because the game is so watered down. In, in 2K15, you probably saw more than any other 2K besides 16 actual real dribble moves to get kills at the top level. Oh other than just the goddamn crossover 16 and that type of spam. Other than that, people were really doing real moves and scoring because they were effective. The momentum was in its prime. It used to be very effective and realistic, just like it is in real life. Now the momentum is not effective at all. You know why they nerfed it? To cater to the Sim Nation negative win percent casuals. Do you wanna know why the behind the back is not as effective and all that? Negative win percent sim nation casual you know why the left right got nerfed negative sim nation win percent casual do you want to know why the shooting got so easy in 2k15 did you did you not know shooting used to be hard in 2k15 oh you didn't know people just be lying on net 2k15 pretty sure patch one through three or two it's one of the hardest shooting 2ks ever bet you didn't know that I bet you didn't know that. It used to be hard to score 40 in the wreck, okay? I was evolved as I am now, okay? It was a real thing. Patch four, or, or maybe patch three. Patch four, but definitely patch four. Made that hole straight for the casual. And then it completely ruined the whole vibe of 15. You could shoot over everyone and just, it was broken. Demigod glitch came out last two months. Everyone says the whole game was goddamn demigod glitch when it wasn't. Now we got 2K16, right? They took out the goddamn crossover 16 spam, right? It was harder to do and it wasn't as effective, right? Good, 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 right? Guys, in 2K16, why did patch six happen? <laughs> Guys, think, bro. Why did patch six happen? Think. Think, 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 think. Why did it happen? Sim Nation negative win percent casuals. They took speed boosting out the game. What in the? <laughs> speed boosting, very realistic. But look, they took it out the game. 2K16, patch six was still better than every 2K after it. That's how amazing that game was. How the hell can a game with no speed boost and still be amazing, better than every 2K after it? That's insane, right? But guess what? Why did they do that? to cater to the negative 1% casual. Why were so many dribble moves from 2K15 no longer in 2K16? 
Why did they nerf them and they put in these these pauses and all this other stuff? Why did they do that? Think about it. You, if you're not in deep, you don't know. There were so many moves in 15 that you could do. There was so much effectiveness with the behind the backs, the jump back, all different type of stuff that they nerfed for 16. And then guess what? 16 to 17. 17 was a nerfed trash 16, right? But a lot of y'all don't know that. The hop step kills were done. Why? <laughs> why? Bro, bro, why? The negative win percent sim casuals. Do you... Bro, I can show you in depth. If I was to show you video, this ain't no nostalgia, bro. I was there, okay? The damn hop steps, the normal three, the curry hop step from 16. You cannot hit them hoes in 17. Why? To cater to the negative 1% Shim Nation goddamn casual. I'm tired of y'all lying on this goddamn net. <laughs> Why in the hell did they make them goddamn stretch bigs? Why in the hell did they add Hall of Fame badges? Goddamn takeover. Why? To cater to the negative 1% casual. <laughs> 17 was really the downfall of the skill gap, to be honest, but 17 was still better than every 2K after. And there were several patches in 16 and 17 to nerf dribblers, dribbling, all this and that, to cater to the negative 1% casual. But how? is comp people controlling the game. They ain't got no pool. <laughs> everything they do is to nerf them. Every, every patch, everything is to nerf, to control, to bring up the bottom and to bring down the top. Imagine complaining to God. Yo, Steph Curry, man, he shoots too good. Nerf him, nerf Steph Curry, make my shot better. Bro, what? <laughs> Imagine just a bunch of Steph Curry's walking around. Bro, what? What? And it's 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 controlled. Like, it's built in, like, RNG computerized system. Like, just the ability. Like, and you didn't put in no effort. That's, the, that's fundamentally what's happening, okay? Now, 17 to 18, okay? Why did that happen? <laughs> God damn. Why did 17 to 18 happen, bro? Come on, man. That game was the slowest 2K to date, dog. That's when paint mashing begun. That's when the skill gap was diminished. Why was 18 built the way it was? Because they were catering to the Sim Nation negative win percent casual. They nerfed speed boosting. They nerfed the movement of the game. They they put the damn blow by in the game where you could just run through someone and why you 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 then. 18 was the easiest shoot in 2K at that point, right? Still top three easiest shoot in 2Ks ever, right? At that point, it was easiest shoot in 2K ever. You could shoot contested shots. You could run through people and score in the paint. You could score way more in the paint contested than any other 2K from part 2K. That's what 18 was, right? Why was it created like that? Why would they want you to be able to score in someone's face when they're playing good defense on you because they know the negative win percent casual can't get open as good as a better player so they want to bridge that gap so and they, they think the negative win percents will play more if they could just shoot in people's face this is when post scores got even more op etc dog right 17 was when post scores really got birthed and they were broken why is post so easy just to be so effective and beat the best players that are way better than you why is that to cater to the negative one percent casual okay it's not realism they hide under realism it's to cater it's negative one percent casual this is about money okay 2k19 another 2k where you could shoot over people's heads completely broken 2k it had it probably had the most potential out of any 2k ever but it was horrible because it was just so broken on every level. Post scores was broken. Now, why was pushing in 2K19? Why were walking size ups added to uh, 18 or 19? I think it was 19. Why? To limit. <laughs> Dribblers learned how to take uh, advantage of them. Now, 2K19, why was pushing in the game? You really think a comp player would want that? 
pushed people out of bounds. Took them like eight months to patch or something or seven, something like that, right? Why was that in the game? You really think a comp player would want pushing in the game? I think 18 was the first year you could really bring three centers to the stage and really like destroy people, right? 18 was the first year that my GM YouTubers could really go to the stage and start playing stage. And you progressively see more YouTubers. YouTubers are now the comp. They used to not be that, bro. They used to not be able to compete. But now the game has got so watered down that now anyone that's decent can really go to the stage and win. There were patches in 19 that nerfed dribbling and movement, okay? Now 18, 19, 20, comp players don't like the speeds of those games. Why is that? Why is that there? Think about it. If the dribble glitch was not in 2K19 and 20, even though that's one of the worst things ever, I think them games would have got hated on way more by the comp players way more because the speed of the game for the guards it was just it was bad bro 2k20 they took out that behind the back why why come on man why why and then the game was cooked cooked that was like the only move when you really played someone on your level that really helped you out and like only certain people could do it and all that but why, why did they do that? 19 was slow as hell, goddamn. 610 locks chasing you down. They faster than your damn guard. They have more speed than your guard. 21 next gen, broken chaos. <laughs> Bro, you telling me people was asking for 21 next? Huh? Chris Smooth was making a video defending 21 next gen. Y'all remember that viral clip that went viral? He was defending 21 next gen dribbling. Everyone knows how clunky and horrible that game. What the hell? What comp player was really like rocking with 21 next gen? They were saying it was horrible. It was slow, clunky. Did it, did it, did it. You can't do this. You can't stop this. You can't stop that. Bruh, come on, man. Guys, we can't be saying we've had no one's had pool what what is going on 2k22 they revitalized the goddamn speed of the game they put some speed in that hole i think it was by mistake i don't i don't think bro when 2k be making shit i don't think they be thinking something's gonna happen how it happened right drop 22 easiest shooting 2k ever right who did they do that for you think they did that for comp or the negative 1% Sim Nation casual. Did it for the negative 1% Sim Nation. When they nerfed the goddamn speed boosting, who did they do that for, bro? Come on, man. <laughs> do I have to keep going, bro? The whole game gets changed for them. The comp players get nerfed every year on every level, bro. Every level. And they're damn 5% of the game. Bro, come on, man. <laughs> What, what, what are you talking about? Bro, bro. <laughs> oh my God, bro. <laughs> 2K23. <laughs> These niggas brought adrenaline in the game. Bro, they already have the stamina. They lower the stamina every year, bro. Damn near. Bro, they done. And then the stamina restrictions in them older 2Ks I was talking about too, right? They, they made the stamina less from 15 to 16, then 17, they made it even lower, right? But then we figured out how to dribble and not use the stamina, right? Even though it would still go down like when you really had to move and stuff. But then 18, they lowered the stamina and they kept on. Oh, <laughs> who are they doing that for? Bro, come on, man. Come on, man. Stop acting like comp people really got a voice, man. Y'all tripping. And it's all because everyone doesn't get on this hoe to have fun. They're too competitive. If you're a bot, just enjoy it. If you play Kyrie in real life, right? That's that's literally what's happening. You're playing Kyrie in real life, but on a game, and he's destroying you. In real life, are you gonna cry to God? <laughs> Change this, ah. bro. No, that's that's literally 
the gap between people and they don't understand it bro it's like the gap is Kyrie versus a middle schooler Kyrie versus a middle schooler he could do anything that's the gap between the skill of the people you talking about a top five percent person versus a goddamn person who's in the top 70 what do you think should happen you think your hands should be held that much that you should be able to no you're not on the same level you can't do what he can do really you feel me no matter how much they you know nerf these 2ks to where locks can finally play guard centers can play guard a lot of people still can't play guard and that's the skill gap okay you know it's it's getting lower but look 23 adrenaline stamina even lower why is adrenaline there why is adrenaline there dog to cater to the negative one percent sim casuals bro why the hell was shooting so damn easy i know y'all say green or miss or whatever all they did was make whites go in bro nothing really changes the visual why was 23 the way it was why was dribbling so slow and clunky and limited think why off ball if you pressed r2 and you didn't have the ball you would lose the adrenaline why why was paint d so sweet why was paint d so sweet in all these 2ks why 2k 24 right speed the, the 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 speed of the game 24 pretty sure is the slowest 2k ever why is that speed boosting is slow slowest ever been why is that come on dog why are still so broken <laughs> why why were people able to shoot full court damn shots why was that why was shooting so crazy easy and all that why of course i can't go over everything because the vid would just be way too long bro but y'all get my point man like bro <laughs> dog this is just crazy Let, let's see what let's see what else he's saying a lot of comp players words just fade to the background damn. their voice is not nearly as loud or as big as their egos in their heads damn Pause. and when i personally reference listen listen another thing another i be roasting them comp players too they do have a crazy ego but what i've noticed okay i'm different okay i actually play with randoms and casuals live and i'm in there talking to them i do it every year a negative one percent casual has a, a bigger ego than a comp head right they got the same ego so it's like just to over man i don't i don't know man I, I like i be talking about everybody in general like like a random wreck head bro he could be one and seven on my team he's talking to me crazy i think that's just online gaming bro to to be honest like i just i think that's everybody it's not it's not just the comp people i'm feeling bad for them because a lot of them don't talk like it's only a it's only a few most of them don't speak and to just be like you know you know but a lot of a lot some of them do talk but they don't even they don't even be on twitter bro like you might just see something from like a stream or something but and they don't even be streaming like you'll see it through somebody else stream uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. They they do got a crazy ego, right? But every 2K player does. You feel me? Everyone. It's comp players, I want you guys to know that. There's a lot of comp players out there that conduct themselves respectfully. But you also got a lot of comp players within the 2K scene that just have a super loud mouth. They be just getting on Twitter and just typing up a storm. You know them folks, you've seen them out there. They only respond to negativity, an eye for an eye, only matching negative energy, four foot six constantly yapping and barking at somebody. You know them dudes I be talking about. So you talking what? about Splash? What happened? What happened? Oftentimes, I just look at them type of folks like a little chihuahua. Oh, that man's upset. Looking at them like a proud dad watching their only son that made it. They acting real goony like. Damn. What the hell's a goon to a gob? And by the way. Bro, what happened? What did Splash do? What? We will be recruiting goons and goblins for GTA <laughs> w 6. W-Cell Probo. W-Cell Probo. Now, hold on. Hold on. Let's go to this video. And let's see what he really talking about, man. A lot of players, yeah. They finna be bothered by this video. And I could care less. Some things, they just need to be said. We finna oh, get into damn. all the details. We spent years in a game where one player can drop off an entire team. But now we have evolved into gameplay where one weak link on your team could get your team dropped off. 2K and the 2K whoa, 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 culture whoa, whoa, used to be whoa, a game. Whoa, 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 whoa. All City, this is cat, bro. Bro, 
Like, y'all got to stop with these narratives, bro. Listen, I'm going to disprove this right here. Okay? It can't be contested, dog. When in any 2K could someone shoot full court shots consistently? When in any 2K could someone shoot full court shots consistently? If that's not the epitome of someone being able to carry their team to a W, I don't know what is, right? Now, when in any 2K could someone off launch drop 200 in the damn wreck? What? <laughs> when? 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 Bro, when? If that's not the epitome of one person being able to carry their team to a W, I don't know what is. You feel me? You could not do that off launch on these other holes. People are showing you how easy the game is. The game is easy. You could really still take over. You feel me? Even on a different level. Bro, 15, bro. It was it was in, insane to see. If someone got 40 in the wreck before they made the shooting crazy easy, that's that is light work in these newer 2Ks. So y'all gotta stop with these narratives saying people don't like the games because you can't do it all when you can. They say you can't dribble no more when you can. They say you can't left right no more when you can. You can. All you gotta do is go look at those same players that you shame. Look at their gameplay. What are they playing like? doing the same thing it will never end they're just having less fun doing it team about embarrassing your opponent all while dropping buckets it wasn't just enough to score you had to score with style and 2k the game <laughs> damn we can't score with style in a video game <laughs> damn <laughs> Encouraged and catered to that idea by allowing no, you guys to get a ton of ankle breakers and automatically greening after every single ankle breaker animation. If you're new to 2K, bro, oh, God, I can't take this, bro. Guys, in 2K23 and in 2K24, you got more ankle breakers. You can get more ankle breakers in 2K23 and 2K24 than you could in 2K15 and 2K16. So what's, what's going on? What's going on? 17 when they turn up the ankle breakers, right? Then 18, it kind of got leveled out. Then 18 through, damn, now it's kind of like on the same level. Maybe, maybe, maybe 18 still had them up a little bit, but like 19, them hoes kind of, you know? But bruh, like, Okay. A lot of you guys, you haven't even seen that type of gameplay. That's because the game has evolved into a more team oriented. <laughs> this dude said the game evolved. How is slow and clunky evolving, bro? Most people, casuals alike, they look at old gameplay, they're like, wow, this is amazing compared to new gameplay. And then it's like, for instance, y'all bash these older 2Ks, right? Dribbling this, dribbling that. Do y'all even know that no one was spinning around like Steezo till 2K18? but that's the most realistic 2K ever. People can spin around in 18 through 24 for the whole shot clock. You couldn't do that in the golden era. So what real what realism are we talking about, man? I don't understand. I don't I don't I just I don't get it. A lot of players over the years that have been traumatized by this experience because they've been embarrassed. So they spent the next couple of years trying to just get right so they can start embarrassing other players. They I think Splash, if this video is about Splash, I think, I don't even think you know about Splash. I'm pretty sure Splash started in 17. He says, uh, the 2Ks, like I be saying is the golden era. He calls that the nostalgia era. He don't even respect them 2Ks because he wasn't really playing them or I guess he wasn't trying or whatever. So I, or maybe he didn't play them. I think he started in 17. I don't even remember, but he started later on and he like roast them old 2ks too so i don't know this not even splash initiative tweet from hank the tank he starts off this tweet by saying simulation ruined 2k24 and i can't help but laugh about that but we'll get into it he says you're laughing but it's true if this game was so good people would watch it all city you feel me People will watch. It ain't just people getting tired of this and that. Dog, come on, man. 
there's like two people streaming the game on TikTok. <laughs> nobody streaming on Twitch, nobody streaming on YouTube. If everyone is having so much fun with the game and the numbers are real. Why is no one streaming this hoe? Why no one really watching this hoe? Right? Come on, man. Why, why is it so hard for everybody to find teammates, man? Man, I, I ain't hearing it. Anyone that, that really says they like the game, they don't stream this hoe. Why? Stream your fun. This better than ever is the perfect time to blow up. Nobody's doing it. Why aren't they doing it? Take advantage. No one's uploading to YouTube. Nobody's uploading tickies. Nobody's streaming on Twitch. Why aren't people doing it, bro? This is your moment, Sim Nation. Why don't y'all ever stream? You you enjoy the game so much. Stream. There's a reason. There's a reason people ain't watching it, but the game's supposedly doing better than ever, bro. It's not what y'all think, bro. I'm telling you, man. We got old heads with 20% win percentages talking like they know everything about the that game when they are absolutely clueless. <laughs> then we have Mike Wayne going out that's scared to go play park. <laughs> Reddit listening to the wrong people for feedback in parentheses he puts Sim Nation yeah. instead of people who play the game every day at the highest competitive level and actually understand the game. Hank the Tank goes on to say then he goes making different updates every single day making shooting easy then impossible then easy again instead of keeping the gameplay the same or fixing the things that actually need to be fixed. Let me ask you guys something. Do you feel someone with a 20 win percentage on 2K should have a, any type of say-so in what goes on with the development of 2K? I'm definitely curious to hear your feedback on that. They paid the same amount of money. Should they have a say-so? Should they have a voice? I personally believe that that's part of the evolution of- That's not an evolution. That's pandering. Oh, City, you're tripping, dog. Imagine, it's like this, bro. How can a 20 win percent even have the knowledge to even understand the game? They're horrible. They don't have the credentials. We live in a world where the ignorant ones are having more power over the experts, the wise ones, the ones with the wisdom that know what. See, look, people get it mixed up. The people that reach that enlightenment, they know what's better for the whole game in general. This is this is a life relation to. Okay, the wise people know what's better for them and the negative win percents. A negative win percent doesn't know what's good for them. It's like a little kid wanting to eat candy on them. You feel me? They don't know. They're ignorant. They don't understand the intricacies of the game. If a negative win percent comes on my team, he's not going to know basic basketball things. Even though he claims to watch basketball all day and play the da 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 da, he's not going to be on my level. He's going to be horrible. Even when he is a gamer, he's not going to be able to understand when to hedge, when to cut, when to slip, when to pop, when to jump for the board, when to go for the reach, when to bait, when to pinch, when to shoot, when you're wide open, when not to shoot, when to fade, when to do this dribble move. He's not going to have the ability to dribble and get open on the three. If you don't, if you can't even do these, bro, if you can't turn on your stream load up in the park or with randoms and run guard and show how much you understand about the game on a basic level i'm not talking about no god on a basic level and really get it done you sh your voice should not matter as much as someone who really understands the game because they know what's best best for everyone bro because they they've been at the bottom and gradually got better They've experienced all sides more than someone who was just straight at the bottom. Someone who's just straight at the bottom just wants everything to be easier for them, right? And then when you make it easier for them, the game becomes chaos. And in life, you need structure. Without structure, it's chaos. Chaos just ruins the game for everyone. Because once the negative win percents learn that everything they, they learned and like, it's just left up to chance and even though you put all that hard work into shooting someone can shoot just as good as you and it's like damn you learn how to combo up and get a three they can't do that but they could just run to the rim and with no effort or just hold square and they can get a bucket like you work way harder for your buckets and they they don't work as hard 
you could be like, damn, why am I playing this? So people aren't realizing why they aren't having as much fun as they used to. And I'm telling you, catering to the negative 1% casuals is why. Like, bro, for instance, any game that is not pandering to kids is wrong. J just in general, if you're not designing your game to somewhat cater to kids, your game's off. That's the biggest casual. That's the biggest casual in gaming. I think they did the average age. They did the average age was like 30 something, bro. What the, f what did they do to the game? If you're not targeting kids, they're going after the old, dumb. Look, I'm an old head going after my own kind, bro. This is what the game has turned into. They're going after the dumb old heads that's spending a hundred a build and they won't stand up to change the game. You feel me? That's who they're targeting. If you're targeting that, that person also, he's a certain type of person, right? It's, it's not it. Over the last few years, 2K has been listening to the casual player base. And in my opinion, from a business standpoint, it makes sense for 2K as casuals make up the good majority of players within the 2K community. But a lot of y'all, including my- Most casual gamers are turned off by 2K. They don't play 2K. Look at the price point. Nothing about 2K is for the casual gamer. They're targeting a certain demographic, envious, negative win percent, casual. That's who they're targeting. They're not targeting the true casual. So we have to stop saying that. Because if they were to really target the real casual, 16's coming back. You feel me? 15's coming back. The real casual, you know? The ones, the ones that are gonna support them videos, watch them streams, you feel me? But if you're targeting an audience, <laughs> that's just bro i don't i don't think y'all i don't think people are like thinking man like just long term about the situation bro why are you creating a game where it's a hundred a build that does not <laughs> why are they creating a game where they're catering to a demographic that is fine with paying a hundred a build those people are are right those people have real sense those are the type of people be like, I got my money, da, 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 I don't care. You broke, huh? shut up. Yeah, yeah. Other communities, this wouldn't fly. There's a reason they're targeting this audience, bro. And that's because if you're a casual out there, you understand it. You say, well, I just get on the game to have fun. You get on the game for what it's intended for, to create fun for yourself. And I feel like- All city, listen, bro. I promise you, <laughs> I could put people's everybody's life that's watching this video if you were who you were now and you played 2k16 and all the knowledge you have right now you would enjoy it more everyone would if 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 the internet was not alive right and like there wasn't these videos and views and all this and that and people just played the games for what they were to have fun you're having more fun on them other games. You're not having more fun on 2K24. You don't stream this hoe. You're not fucking with this hoe. Y'all not fucking with this hoe. Come on, man. What's going on? Hey, y'all check out my last video, man. It's about a 2K dev going off on 2K Lab. I don't think the notice was sent out on that hoe, man. The vid is on the screen. But hey, hey, here we go again. Talking this for when this hit the fan Everything I'm that made me Now break it down Yo Off the top of the dome, dome.